Good morning. Good morning we offer Mass this morning and we gather with our whole school community today uh, celebrating the beautiful feast day of our parish, St. Bernadette. So we welcome you to Mass this morning. Um, I'll be celebrating Mass today for the parish and Father Rich will be celebrating Mass for the repose of the soul of Hermenegildo Coronado. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the You alone are the Holy One. You 
O God, who called your handmaid, St. Bernadette, to seek you before all else, grant that, serving you through her example and intercession, with a pure and humble heart, we may come at last to your eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of this world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have 
have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Jesus spoke to his disciples, saying, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On this feast day of St. Bernadette, we reflect on the teachings of the Church with regard to the Immaculate Conception of Mary, the mother of Jesus, because it was through this girl who was less than 10 years old that Mary, Mary appeared to her as Our Lady of Lords and gave her this teaching. The, the thing that I find most amazing about St. Bernadette is that she continually stuck with her story, didn't she? She just kept saying no. I don't know what you don't know, but all I know is is that the lady told me that she was the Immaculate Conception. And the bishop says to this little nine-year-old girl, do you know what that means? And she's like, no, I have no idea. This is, this is, what she, this is just what she told me. So, so um, it is a, a beautiful testimony to the fact that God chooses us at all different times in our lives, but especially if you might be nine years old today. Think about the power of this event that took place and the holiness of life that it brought to St. Bernadette. St. Bernadette was, at most, most of her life, was rather sickly. She came from an extremely poor family. At one point, she was even sent away to live with relatives because the family was so poor they couldn't keep everybody in their home. And, um, and so she was sick a lot of her life. And then when the time came for her to, um, to decide that she was called by God to be a sister, she joined a, a convent in Nevers. I was there uh, a, a number of years back to celebrate the, the um, not the canonization, but the beatification of uh, Father Louis Brisson. So he was the founder of the Oblate Sisters of St. Francis de Sales. And so we were in France, and we went to Lourdes, and we went to Nevers. We went to the convent where uh, St. Bernadette lived, and it was, it's so amazing. She's beautiful. She's incorrupt. That means she's within the altar, beneath the altar, on the side altar of the chapel there, and she just looks like she's asleep. God honored her with this um, particular gift, I think, because of the fact that she gave her life completely to God, and that's why today in the gospel today, uh, the gospel we chose for today, it's, it talks about how if a grain of wheat just doesn't fall into the ground and die, it just stays the same. But if, if we allow ourselves, if we allow ourselves to give our lives to God, then God will take that gift and he'll bear, it'll bear much fruit. And so that's what we think about today with St. Bernadette. I challenge all of you boys and girls and anyone who might be listening to Mass this morning, if you would please ask God in your heart if he is calling you to be a sister or to be a priest because um, it was something very, very precious to St. Bernadette and to all of us who are involved in, in pastoral ministry as priests or sisters. Um, let's pray today to God for a gift of a vocation. And let us stand for our prayers to the faithful. Today, because it is a special feast day, we have the creed to pray together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. 
begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us bring all of our needs before our Father in heaven. We pray first of all for all the leaders in our parishes, for priests, for teachers, for Mrs. Dalmut, our principal, for all those who lead us in the church, that they may be filled with the Holy Spirit and speak the word of God with boldness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the nations of the world who at times still gather together against the Lord and His will for life and justice, that the Father in His powerful providence may raise up Jesus as our King of Peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are at home today who are sheltering in place because of the illness, because of our need to stay healthy, for all those who are sick and for those who care for them, for all of those who help us with our daily needs, as people who are making deliveries and working, still working um, out there, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions recommended to our prayers, that Jesus, the Anointed One, may be powerful in His loving mercy toward the needs of each, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that each one who was reborn of water and the Spirit may now taste the full delight of the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions that we include in silence. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in confidence of your love and mercy, we ask you to hear and answer these prayers which we offer you for our good and according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We bring the offerings of our devotion to be consecrated by you, O Lord, in commemoration of St. Bernadette. For by the consolation you give us in this life, you show us that we should not lose hope of what is promised for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your, in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, from, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed, O Lord, at the wellsprings of salvation, we humbly entreat you that through the intercession of St. Bernadette, holding more closely day by day to Christ, we may merit to be co-heirs in his kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We wish you all a beautiful feast day today. It's nice to be with you at Mass this morning. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Oh, we.